Thank you, Mr. Landis, for that introduction, and thank you to all the Extension staff, government officials, and farmers who shared their knowledge in that excellent panel discussion. To Mike Jones, who is about to end his reign as Small Farmer of the Year, and to all our small farmers and farm families whose hard work and commitment to their land, their crops, and their livestock. You are the ones providing healthy, fresh foods on our table. I also want to thank North Carolina A&T State University, and particularly Cooperative Extension at North Carolina A&T for recognizing our state's small farmers for the last 36 years through Small Farms Week. Small Farms Week is important because for the most part, our farmers work their land and sell their commodities without getting or expecting any recognition. But as you know, our small farmers, including black farmers, veteran farmers, and those with limited resources in underserved rural counties deserve recognition and praise whether they ask for it or not. Although the majority of our farms in North Carolina are small in size, each one is a central piece of a huge industry. Agriculture and agribusiness account for 17% of the jobs in our state and has a yearly economic impact of about $92 billion. Small farmers are hardworking people who grow vegetables, fruits, and grain crops. They raise livestock that provide us with meat, eggs, dairy products, and continually offer new products such as hemp, ginger, mushrooms, herbs, and truffles. To put it simply, we are small, but together our impact is large and our role is essential. For me, my family farming roots date back to 1919 when my great-grandfather purchased land not too far from here in Woodsdale, an unincorporated township in Person County. Small Farms Week is essential because small farmers are essential. Most of our state's population live in cities and towns and have little understanding of what farmers do, the challenges they face, and the critical niche they feel. If we want our family farms to survive and thrive in the 21st century, we need to build relationships with that non-farming population. We need them to understand how food gets to their table, how state national and international policies affect our markets and our profits, and how major issues and events, including climate change, pandemics, supply chain breakdowns, and weather disasters mean new challenges for us. If you look at the topics discussed during Small Farm Week and the experts who take part in those discussions, these are all issues that will be discussed, frankly, throughout the week. That's all serious and important stuff. Then add in farm tours, drone demonstrations, and the anticipation about who will be named Small Farmer of the Year. And you have a celebration that is both fun and topical, entertaining and thought provoking. Small Farms Week is about recognizing our small farmers for all that they do, giving them the skills and resources to compete and succeed, giving our non-farming neighbors a glimpse of farm life and helping our business and government leaders understand the needs of farmers and rural communities so they can make informed policy decisions. Through my life as a farmer, I truly understand how small farmers need to have a voice in their communities and work with their local governments and community groups to ensure that farmers have the chance to succeed and grow their markets. The farm my great-grandfather Cornelius Jeffers purchased over a hundred years ago has provided a way of means for his children and grandchildren as an adult and great grandchild, I farm that same land and I have always worked to ensure that the voices of the farmers are heard. I was a leader in FFA in high school and the first black president of our FFA chapter. And as a student at North Carolina a and I was FFA treasurer. I became the youngest commissioner elected to the Person County Board of Commissioners serving 12 years. I was also the youngest president of the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners taking office just before my 30th birthday. Why? Why did I get involved in government and policymaking? Because unlike so many others who grew up on farms and in small communities, I elected to stay rather than migrate to a larger city. And if we want to encourage our young people to stay on the farm, we need to address the needs of farmers. We need to do all we can to make farming a viable and rewarding way of life, especially for our black farmers who for so many years faced discriminatory lending practices that forced them out of business. In my role as Rafi's policy and program manager, I use the knowledge and experience I've gained over the years to help farmers find the best markets for their products and advocate on their behalf with regards to federal policy. My goal is to help them become sustainable producers 
who can grow and prosper. I also strongly believe in making farming a more affordable and attractive career for younger people and in providing the tools to succeed in modern agriculture. From better broadband access to access to grant programs, to education on new crops, new markets, and innovative growing techniques. I am proud to be here today because like me, most of you elected to stay on the farm and in your rural communities. People like Mike Jones and all the others who have been named Small Farmer of the Year demonstrate innovation, a respect for their land, a dedication to sustainable practices, and a belief in the value of small scale farming to the quality of life in our rural communities and the health of our agriculture sector. I congratulate Mike and the many small farmers like him who not only work their land, but strive to educate themselves and use their creativity to expand their markets, grow better crops, and help the larger population understand what it takes to be a small farmer. And of course, I thank Cooperative Extension at North Carolina a and for being a partner to our small farmers for more than 100 years. From the early days when agents visited family farms on horseback to today, when farmers can receive in-depth education on Zoom. Extension has been with us, helping us find new opportunities and develop resilience to all the challenges that can hurt us. Small Farms Week is another example of how Cooperative Extension works with us. It lets us recognize our own, talk about our struggles with experts, find solutions to our problems, and share our way of life with our community members. Thank you, Cooperative Extension, for sponsoring Small Farms Week each year Thank you to Mike Jones and others like him who exemplified the best of small farmers and thank all of you for your support of small farmers and farmers of color. This is a long-term relationship that I'm sure will continue for the next 100 years and beyond.